Hi, I'm Paris, and another cold wave has arrived. It may even snow in Austin tonight. So I'm back looking at heaters. Now, over the past couple weeks, I've reviewed two different personal portable space heaters. One is the Honeywell Uber Heat. Does a great job, produces a lot of heat, but it's more of a room heater than just a personal space heater. And the Lasco My Heat, which is a cute little heater, 200 watts. I found it didn't produce quite enough power and it doesn't have tip over protection, so it shuts off if it tips over. So I went out looking for the Goldilocks of personal space heaters and I may have found it here. The Bright Town Personal Electric Ceramic Heater. Could this one be just right? Heater prices fluctuate a lot in the winter depending on how cold it is and what they have in stock. This model right now goes for about $20, which is the same as the Lasco, the smaller heater. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. So the Bright Town model produces 400 watts of heat versus 200 in the Lasco, and this one has the tip over protection for the same price. So far, this one's looking pretty good. And the Bright Town comes in my favorite color of orange. Isn't that a nice color? You can see the heating element there inside, a light on the front to show when the power is on. On the back you can see the size of the fan and the on off switch here does not have a thermostat or a fan speed adjustment. What I like seeing though on the bottom is this little peg. When it's standing up the peg is pressed in and it functions. If you tip it over the peg pops out and it stops working. And the cord is about six feet long. I've plugged in this heater. Let's see how fast it warms up and how much noise it makes. It's 70 degrees in the room right now. Flip the switch. Not yet. The plastic stays cool in the casing. It's quite a bit more heat than this. I was expecting a little bit more even than what I'm feeling though. Again, there's no way to direct the air, just like with, I was really disappointed, this one's got the curvy lines in the grill, but you can't turn the grill to direct the air. So the warm air tends to blow up slightly as it gets away from the heater. This one's the same, I believe. Yeah. It took about 30 seconds or so, but now it's good and hot. It's actually too hot for me to keep my hand here about a foot in front of it, it's too hot. However, the temperature is still showing 70 on this because the hot air is not only blowing up slightly, it's rising, as warm air does, and going right over the thermometer. Let's test out the tip over protection. Stopped right away. Comes back on. Turns right off. Good, I like that. I'm going to blow it towards me now and see if I were sitting at a desk how good a job it would do of keeping my fingers warm. Again, it's blowing up onto my face more than my hands. I am disappointed that I don't feel the warm air at all here at keyboard height, but it's making my face very toasty. I think I'll try it out underneath the table and see if it would keep my feet warm and I would have that hot, enough hot air to come up around the desk and help to keep the rest of me warm. It's doing a nice job as a foot heater. I have it about three feet away from my feet and it's doing a good job keeping my feet warm. With the Lasco, I felt like I needed to put my feet right in front of it to stay warm, and with this, it was so hot, it was a matter of keeping my feet far enough away that they didn't feel like they were burning. So this is good at about the distance you have underneath of a desk, about three feet, and I can feel a little bit of heat rising up around me. So this is really what I was looking for, something to keep my feet warm and to engulf me in a little cocoon of warmth. I'm not really interested in heating up the whole room, just the little area around me. Yeah, this is nice. I'm getting sleepy because now my feet are finally comfortable and so it's very relaxing. I don't want to reposition this heater because I have it exactly where I want it. It's just perfect keeping my feet just the right temperature. But I'm going to bring it up on the desk and we'll do a little comparison between all three of them. All right, all three of them are running side by side. I would say this is sort of like a single slice toaster if you look at the size of the heating element. Here's your two slice toaster and here's your four slice toaster. And as you would expect, I feel some heat coming out of here. Definitely more heat coming out of here. I can't keep my hand as close. I've got to get it about this distance before it's not actually burning. And then with this one, 
there's, it's just a larger area of heat. So it's not a concentrated small area like with these. It's, it's a large area of pretty good heat. Let's compare them one by one, see how loud they are. Now this is perfect for Austin, which has fairly mild winters. If you live somewhere that lakes actually get frozen over, for you, this might be just a personal space heater rather than a room heater. And as for the Lasco, which had such good reviews and works fine as a heater, I just have trouble recommending it because of the lack of tip over protection. And if you kick this one over, shuts off. You kick this one over, shuts off. You kick this one over it's still going. Now it will shut off when it gets hot enough so it won't damage itself, but you don't know what will happen to the surface that it's been blowing its heat directly onto for a few minutes until it does shut off. I tested this out in my, it's getting warm, in my video review of this particular heater and I left it pointing down at the table I think for a full minute and then took the temperature it was pretty warm. So my recommendation for best personal space heater, if you live somewhere that you occasionally see icebergs, this might be the one for you. If you live in the southern part of the U.S. where the winters are a lot more mild, this might be a good one. Find out more about all three at the links down below this video. And at the end of this video, I'll link to my dedicated reviews to both this heater and this heater. And this video happens to be during the week of our Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty Christmas Set Giveaway. If you comment down below the videos this week, starting back on Tuesday, going through Saturday, including this video, anything about what I've reviewed in the video or about Christmas, you'll have a chance to win one of these Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty Christmas Pack Sets. I'll choose the winner next week on Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. You can comment on each video during this week and you'll have more chances to win. Whichever size heater you go for, stay warm, and I'll see you on the next review.